Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be decorating this house and turning it into a spring build. So I was actually on Discord this morning and someone mentioned to me they're pretty excited for my spring build videos and I actually have not thought of a spring build just yet. But in today's video, we are going to be decorating this house. This is the super suburban house. So instead of decorating the starter house, I wanted to go with a different house because I noticed that I've been doing a lot of the tiny houses and I really wanted to try something new. Hopefully this isn't too big. I feel like this house is very spacious, but I feel like I can manage to decorate this for spring. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video. So the outside of the house is going to be this yellow color because whenever I think of spring, I think of yellow, blues, purples, and just like pastel colors. This house is going to be heavily inspired by my outfit that I'm wearing today because whenever I think of spring, I think of like pastel colors. So let's go ahead and color our walls. We're probably not gonna do our walls like this yellow color. I actually like that yellow color in there, like that pastel yellow color. Actually, wait, what does the pink look like? Oh, that's too bright, okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the perfect colors in here unless we use like walls. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go for this wallpaper maybe. I don't know, I wanna go for like a yellow themed wallpaper. This one's actually pretty cute as well. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this wallpaper right here maybe for this room exactly and let's see let's go ahead and start decorating this room all right so the main item that i really want to use in this house is definitely this little cutie table right here because it is a flower as you guys can see and we can put it on the wall oh my goodness <gasps> I have an idea guys okay so I'm going to go ahead and make a flower wall right here and let me go ahead and change this color right here to a green color so something like that maybe I'll do something more pastel and that would be super cute and for the the middle I want to do like a yellow maybe like a soft yellow like that and then for this pink color I really do like that pink color um, I might end up doing like a bunch of like different colors and stuff. So maybe we'll do something like, oh my gosh, wait. You know, I'm just gonna go back to that same color because I like the way that one looks. So maybe we'll go for something like that. All right guys, so it ended up turning into nighttime as soon as I started building. But I have an idea for the way I want the flooring to look. So I really wanna use a bunch of these rugs to kind of create a grass look. I know I could totally use like walls and stuff, but I think it'll be easier to use this rug instead for now. And plus this rug kind of looks like lawns, like, you know, freshly mowed lawns with the lines and stuff like that. So maybe I'll just go with something like this. I think that's the same color. I don't know why it looks like that. Like it's showing up as a different color because I completely duplicated that. But I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate a bunch of these to kind of create that grass look. Alright guys, so this is what the flooring looks like. I'm not going to lie, these rugs are kind of expensive. But this is kind of what it looks like. It's like a cute little lawn. I'm kind of debating whether I want the walls to be white or not. But I think right now it is okay. So it kind of like acts as like the sky and stuff. Oh my gosh, I can do like an entire flower wall. That'd be so cute. These are the colored flowers that I'm going to be using right here white yellow and pink okay so I need to get some shapes okay let's go to stuff and go to shapes and then I'm also going to try and create like the leaf look so you can do this in many different ways but the way that I found that works best for me oh I didn't mean to do duplicate that the way that works best for me is just using like these pyramid shapes you can do whichever ones that you like but I'm just going to use this shape right here and hopefully it doesn't stick out of the wall like weirdly okay we're doing something like that and then also I'm going to add this flower so somewhere around the top like that it'd be really cute I like the way that these look because it kind of just fills up the entire area 
And I'm gonna add maybe this one right here as well. So you can use these flowers or if you want to have more of like a rose look, if you go to Christmas and then you scroll all the way down the icing table right here, you can actually use the icing table right here and use it as like a rose because it kind of looks like a rose in a way, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna go something, I'll do like a yellow, ooh, yellow rose, that'd be so cute. Okay, so we're probably gonna mix some roses in with this. Add more roses into it like that. Just to add a little bit more to like the flower wall so that we're not using the same flowers all the time all right so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this wall up and i will be back all right so this is what it came up for the wall right here um if you look at it from a view it looks kind of dangerous it's like one of those like trap type of things where like two walls are sharp and they're coming together and it's like you have to escape it that's kind of what it looks like but um i think it looks okay uh it look definitely does look like hedges and plants sticking out and stuff like that so i really like the way that looks and actually I'm going to go into the cutie furniture again and I'm going to end up adding some of these heart plants again because you know I love these plants so much and they kind of just add like more to like the scenery and stuff these plants are really beautiful so I'm gonna go actually I'm probably going to lighten up these colors to something like that and maybe I'll... ooh that'd be super cute oh my goodness actually I'm going to go for just a green color just because I want to kind of keep the green theme going on i think that looks super cute oh it looks super cute okay i like the way that looks um i really like the way that this flower wall looks i really want to add more of these like tables throughout the house i kind of want to add like another pond area or something um just because that's kind of what i think about with spring but instead of like putting bushes around it i'm probably just going to leave it as is like this because this one's really cute not gonna lie this one is actually pretty cute and i'm actually not sure where i'm gonna put oh Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here just yet. Maybe I'll do something like fun and playful over there. Um, I like how this looks. I'm actually going to change the color of these like flower things. Actually, let's do this color, maybe like a light color like that. And then for the pink, ooh, if we do like a light pink, that'd be pretty cute too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what about a yellow? And this is pink right here. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love the way that looks. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there because it's kind of like an empty spot just chilling. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute like that. Oh, I love that. Okay, that's what I'm gonna go with right there. All right, guys, so what do you know? It is dark again. So I actually wanna do something that is kind of inspired by the new Peach Pet. So I kind of wanna do like a little pet bed station over here with just a bunch of like circles like these. And I had an idea of adding circles. Oh my gosh, why is it? Okay, I don't know why it's being all weird like that. I don't know why it's being all, oh, what? Ah, why is it being all weird like that? I don't know. We're gonna try and manage to do this without it looking weird. When building, I kind of wish there was a way to allow your shapes to go inside of each other like perfectly, you know what I mean? Wait, where did that go? Oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, now I have to go ahead and put the shape back. I think in building, it'd be a really great idea to have like an undo button. Um, I totally forgot to mention that in my video where I talk about things that I'd like to see in Overlook Bay. I'd really love to have an undo button when building because sometimes I do mess up. Okay, so there's gonna be little gaps between these like little leaf petals right here just because they're kind of unavoidable at this point because of the edges of the rugs and stuff. So we're just going to go with it. Oh my gosh, wait, it kind of looks like a flower. <gasps> That'd be a really cool thing to make too. Oh my gosh, a flower. Okay, so let's go to pet stuff and go to beds. Okay, so I've never actually used the budget pet beds before in any of my builds. So I'm just going to lay these out just randomly. Ooh, maybe like that or something. <gasps> Ooh, that'd be so cool. Okay, so let's change the colors of these to like yellow. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm kind of going for like a yellow theme already. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with that, that color. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like so far. So now over here, I really wanted to create like a little mini living room. And I don't think I'm gonna put anything under here just yet, just because I don't really know what to do with under there. So I'm just going to kind of just block off that area maybe. All right guys, so I'm back and I actually ended up adding more things off camera. So let's go ahead 
ahead and go inside of the house and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I did not use all the rooms in fact I actually ended up blocking off some of the rooms which I will show you guys so right when we walk into the house this is the main room and this room is probably the room that I'm the most proud of because I really love how it turned out so my inspiration for this room is spring and when I think of spring I think of like grass and flowers and green and yellows and pink so I ended up making this house that kind of color scheme so as you guys can see around the entire room I ended up adding these squares to act as bushes and I did this in my cupid's castle as well I thought this would add like a more outdoorsy look it's kind of what I went for and to be honest guys I don't know what I was going for when I made this little like pet station right here so earlier on I made this like a peach color but I didn't think it looked good with the green so I ended up just making it pink and I kind of just did like a little flower decoration um hopefully this looks like a flower to you guys so right here we have some pet beds and some food bowls because I actually ended up forgetting to add that in the video so this is kind of what this area looks like right here this is like a little pet station and then over here we have the little bird bath type of thing and I just realized that shape is now going into my bath which I will have to fix later on so this is kind of just like a little bird bath and then over here I added a little couch with a um, picnic area as you guys can see and I put a little fruit bowl right there just because I don't really have any like picnic type of style of furniture so we just have that and then we also have a unicorn right there and then also throughout the room I put some like butterflies around the bushes and stuff and then over here I just made a little another pet bed on top of like the flower table I really like these tables and I ended up putting it into the wall to make it look like a flower wall so I did that with this area over here and then also over here guys so there's there's actually two rooms in this area so there's a door right here and there's a door up there but I ended up blocking it off because I didn't think I was going to need it so to block it off I kind of just added another flower wall on this side over here which I really like so if we go into the kitchen area this is my kitchen um it's kind of plain but I like the way it looks and I kind of just went for like a pink and yellow theme as you guys can tell very spring like and then when we go into the dining room guys this is probably another one of my favorite rooms just because I really love this wall right here so there's actually another room right here I guess you could say like a bathroom because it's like a smaller room and I ended up blocking it off because I didn't think that I was going to decorate it just because like this house is super big and it would take a lot of money and time to decorate it so that's kind of why I blocked up certain sections just to keep it short and simple so right here we just have a bunch of pictures of like donuts and then we have the tables where you're kind of just lining up as like a little wall border or something if that makes any sense I like the way this looks so and then this is my dining table right here it is so cute I love the colors pink and yellow together it looks really cute like that and then we also have some more bushes and stuff like that and then also some hanging lights right here so that is the dining room and the kitchen super cute and then if we go all the way upstairs let me show you guys I ended up adding like a window thing there's actually actually a smaller room right here that leads to like a bathroom I'm usually bad at decorating bathrooms so I was just like I'm just gonna add like a little bath right here on the outside I think it looks super cute and then I try to do like some type of design with like the chandelier and like the flowers around so hopefully that looks okay looks a little dangerous but <laughs> let's just hope that doesn't fall on anybody down there okay and then we also have like a bookshelf to fill up some space and then this is the bedroom I went for like a more simple bedroom if you guys would like to see like a spring bedroom bedroom build then let me know down below in the comments I can definitely do that for you guys but this room is kind of like simple I use like the little heart beds and stuff and a bookcase and like a little sofa we have a dog bed over here a desk a dog bed and that's pretty much it for like this room I really wanted to keep it simple so yeah that is pretty much it for the entire house I love the way it looks and stuff like that I love the flower walls and everything so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below if you would like to see more spring builds i actually have one more in mind that i would really like to do. make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn to that subscribe button from red to silver so that you guys can be notified whenever i upload a new video as well as go live and i'm actually going to be going live this friday the march 26th for the easter event so make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are on make sure to go check out some of the new donut squad merch in my roblox group i will have the link down below in my description box but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye.